Hey everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video. Today we have Hasbro's Fortnite Victory Royale series, Sky and Ollie. And this figure comes with that deluxe style packaging, looking fantastic. And I did get a heck of a deal on Amazon for this two-pack. I think I paid like 10 or 12 bucks for it. And it is well worth that. It's even worth the retail price. But let's go ahead and get Sky and Ollie out of the package. Straight out of the box, you're going to notice that Sky comes with a massive, massive accessory, almost like a extra figure. And we got Ollie here. This thing came in two pieces. It's hollow inside. So you just put the two pieces together. This thing is adorable. Awesome sculpt work. Looks like it has like feathers, yellow horns and wings, yellow tail. Definitely something that you would have seen coming out of Adventure Time just with the style and design. So I think this whole figure and set actually pays a little homage to that. And then on the bottom, we got the light blue. We got the star, almost like something you'd see in Steven the Universe. Then we got a hole in the bottom. Now, this figure did not come with any flight stand. That's the biggest letdown when it comes to this set. No flight stand, nothing for this to peg on to. Uh, T-Man978, I know he had an extra stand or he took a stand from something else and popped it on and it worked. But uh, it was also a Hasbro stand that they've made before. Hence, that's why it popped into this very easily. But that's a big disappointment right there. It's like, this thing is awesome, but it doesn't need to be sitting on the ground. It needs to be in the air. It needs to be elevated. This thing is awesome. The first weapon that Sky comes with is a plunger gun. And this thing looks pretty good. Uh, sculpt works there. It does not shoot out like the Jazzwares version. But uh, still a nice looking plunger gun. Now, Sky's primary weapons, and these are my favorite. We got these, like, ice or crystal swords. These things look awesome. They're casted in a translucent blue plastic, which is even cooler. Uh, the handles are done really well, sculpt work and paint work, and we get a pair of these. Sky also comes with a backpack. Tons of awesome sculpt work and paint work. We got a shield there. Definitely gives off some uh, Zelda vibes right there. We got a little... Looks like some sort of portable gaming device. Could be like homage to BMO or just the gamer. And uh, we got ourselves a little ruby. And it looks like uh, either some sort of drink or it could be a uh, spyglass. But it's still cool. We get all the sculpt work, painted buckle. The sword fits in there nice. But the one thing that sucks about the sword is like it fits so nice, but you can't put both swords in this backpack. An up close look at Sky in this figure is awesome the print tech on the face looks really good i love the little ollie knit hat with the wings but they did a heck of a job on this figure it's very very nice very clean uh, a lot of the plastic uh does color a lot of stuff there's no dry brushing in the hair um but there's still paint where it needs to be on her shirt uh you can barely see it you can get it to focus with the yellow I'll zoom in there you got it yourselves like a little triforce symbol on her chest which is pretty awesome and uh we get all these painted on buttons the straps to the backpack the fuzzy collar this jacket all this is looking really really nice we got a nice camera the camera is probably removable if you remove her head off because this is a floating piece got like some cool gloves almost remind me of like tekken gloves Looking really good. Or uh, Vid Kid from Burger King's Kids Club. <laughs> and we got the sweater tied around the waist. We got a little pouch. Little dangly thing at the bottom. Again, just really, really well done. We get in the pants. Pants have some sculpt work into them. No texture. The boots are really well done. Sculpted, painted nicely. Treading is done really well. Just overall a nice looking character. When it comes to Sky's articulation, she has plenty of it. We got ourselves some attitude there in the head. She can look down quite a bit. Basically almost so much that her neck can pop off that peg. You know, and then you can just remove the, <laughs> the actual camera. But let's get her head back on there. <clears throat> so, that's the problem with her. Is she has that like shallow neck. And the head will pop off. But she can get some good movement. Like I said, you can bend her head down. Um, the looking back, not so much. 
because it wants to like hit there. Arms can go up very far. Bicep swivel. We got butterfly joints underneath that vest. And double jointed pinless elbows. Look at that. Wrist rotation. Wrist bend. Got ourselves that little ab area. She can hula hoop. Hula hoop at the waist as well. So we got the double ball, which is good. Um, splits wise, her legs are really tight. But one hits the pouch a little bit. But she could pretty much do the full Van Dam. Thigh cut. Double jointed. The knees are tight as can be. But pinless as well. Nice pinless legs. Bend really well. Boot cut. Ankle bend. Pivot. Now playing around with Sky and Ollie, you can really get her to hold all of her gear. And I pretty much got her legs to sort of prop underneath the wings, um, even though she's not sitting flush on Ollie. But it still works because you can get her nice and posed up on him and he's, she's not super floppy. And I know technically she should be holding down on his feet. But after uh, watching Team Man 978 review his and stretching out the hands, I want to make sure she can hold on to the swords and they don't get all loose in her hands from trying to grab onto his little tentacle arms now it's comparison time we got sky with some other female figures that i have we got some black series we got ourselves some gi joe and you can see how well they scale together now getting them out of the way we can do maybe a you know steel brigade from valiverse she is smaller and let's go ahead and bust out some man cakes from the same line they look good together. And let's go ahead and... Why not? Let's just do this one. We'll just have him sort of standing around. We got ourselves uh, Street Gomez right there. So in the end, Hasbro knocked this figure out of the park. Honestly, Hasbro does a great job with their Fortnite Victory Royale series figures. I mean, they're pretty awesome. I think they're very underrated and they don't get as much publicity as they should. And they don't get the announcements like the other lines that Hasbro does. I think these figures are phenomenal. They're fun. They're unique. I'm not even a big Fortnite fan. I don't even remember the last time I played the game, but their characters and the figures that are going with those characters are phenomenal. They're fun. And this one definitely hit home because I'm a huge gamer adventure time fan. It just hit right in the right in the spot for me. But I didn't pull the trigger initially. I wanted to, but I collect so many other things. But then once I saw this thing on Amazon for like 10 bucks or 12 bucks, I could not say no. I was like, this is my opportunity. I gotta go and I gotta get it now. So I got it, and it doesn't disappoint at all. This besides it not having a stand for Ollie, which is the biggest bummer, this figure is phenomenal. It is such a cool figure. And that sums up my unboxing and review of Fortnite Victory Royale series Sky and Ollie box set. If you guys are enjoying my content, hit that like button. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button as it helps the channel evolve and grow. Hit the silver bell notification if you want to get alerts when I post up a new video or when I go live. And make sure you guys go ahead and check out Toyco Toys and Collectibles. The website's down below. Check them out. Also, check out the Facebook group. Toyco's pre-order group on Facebook is phenomenal. You get dibs on some amazing priced imports. I mean, I'm talking about your SH Figuarts, Figma, Storm Collectibles, 3-0, 1000 Toys. If you haven't heard of any of those brands, you need to join that group and check them out because they're some of the high-end imports that you can really get. They're beautiful pieces and uh, definitely check it out. But most importantly, I want you guys to have the best luck hunting, keep on collecting, and have a beautiful day.